All right, guys, welcome back to the next video on the channel. And today we're going to go over the Master Ball, how to finally get it, the animations that happens when you do use the Master Ball, and also a potential issue which I have seen on Twitter, but we'll go over that at the end. So, first one is to get your Master Ball, you will need to do a few things. And let me just move this video across and I'll. Um, add this picture here. So let's go stage five out of six. You need to catch 25 Pokemon, defeat three Team Go Rocket Grunts. You need to make three excellent throws, evolve five Pokemon, and also battle in a gym three times. That is stage five out of six, and stage six is just completed. So it's quite an easy um, end of season thing if uh, research. And you also get the best Pokeball on the game. Now, this is the animation for when you do open your Master Ball. If you don't want to see this and you want to see it on your phone for the first time, three seconds from here. Right, let's get into this. So, this is the animation for when the Master Ball opens. Courtesy of Pokeminers on Twitter. Please go and give them a shout. Um... The Master Ball reveals itself in a very clear and open animation. It's actually probably one of the best animations on the game currently. Um, so I do really like that. It It is a really good uh, animation and feature to be added to the game. However, there is um, there's another animation that I want to show you on what happens when you do use your Master Ball on a Pokemon. So let me get that and I'll bring you... Alright guys, and we are back with this animation, once again courtesy of Pokeminers. Like I said, please come give them a shout, they do so much good work behind the scenes, it's unreal. So, let's go, so this, this is clicking the Master Ball, it says, do you want to use Master Ball? Yes. And you twirl your Pokeball and you throw it, and then this animation shows about catching the Pokemon. Now, as you see here, the Master Ball just basically hits Pokemon and then goes to the normal catch animation, which obviously is a 100% catch rate. However, there is one reason this doesn't happen, and that is if you are doing this on a Galarian bird, or something to do with your incense. So, if you have found a Galarian Moltres Zapdos Articuno, and you go to utilize your Master Ball, but you've walked too far away from the spawn. Your Pokemon will disappear from the map, but you'll still be in the battle or uh, catch animation. You'll try throwing your Master Ball, and the Pokemon will vanish, as well as your Master Ball. And you will not have it in your inventory. You will not have the Pokemon in your Pokemon box either. Another thing is, if you do use your Gotcha or Pokemon Go Plus during your incense, and you find a Galarian Bird... And it has already targeted your Galarian Bird. Do not go into battle and use your Master Ball. Because it has already tried throwing that ball at the Pokemon. So you throw your Master Ball. It will fail straight away. And you will lose both your Master Ball and your encounter. If it didn't catch with the Gotcha. However, everything else seems to be fine. Um... Like I said, it's a really good feature to have. I'm keeping the video playing here just in case um, you guys want to see it again. But it is, like I said, a really cool feature to add to the game. And please do not get sucked in if you do get a Galarian bird that has already been found by your gotcha. Because you will unfortunately lose your master ball and have no leg to stand on to try and get it back. Um... So yeah, thank you all for watching this video. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel for more. Please go and give Pokeminers a like on Twitter and a follow. They do do a lot of good information and leaks before they come out on the game. And I'll speak to you all in the next one.